Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you um, are new here, my name is Samantha and I am a newbie homeschool mom. Um, I'm in my first year of official homeschooling and um, I've been a little bit MIA um, since September and that's because life kind of threw some curveballs. Um, but they were good. They were good things. And um, I actually filmed this video right before Christmas break and um, it got lost in my computer somewhere. So I'm going to film this again and hopefully get this out to you guys soon. Um, I've had some of you who follow me um, check in to see how where I was and how I was doing and I appreciate that very much. And um, excuse my little bit of a raspy throat. I have a cold and excuse the boom. <laughs> There's some, something getting moved outside. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to hop on and give you a little school update for us. We are in our first official week back of school after we had a six-week break. But let me start at the beginning of what happened and where we are going from there. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new location. This is um, our dining room that we have now added this hutch that we got from Ikea. Um, I will link which one it is below. I don't remember off the top of my head the name of it. Um, but it, down below behind me is a cabinet with doors, and then there's these bookshelves. And then this area here is where I keep my computer and um, my lesson plan book and my simplified planner <laughs> and all of the things that I need. So it's basically like my desktop, and then we use the top for um, the books. Oh, learning here. Here are for our unit study that we are doing um, currently, and then our supplies and stuff like that. So. Um, we are just started last week. We started part time. We are moving into it a little slowly. And, um, so that's kind of, um, why I say this is our second time. I'm sorry. They're moving a dumpster outside my house across the street. So if I'm, if you hear a boom, that's what it is. There's no bomb. It's just a dumpster. Um, anyways, so where have we been? Um, in September, I posted a video right before we took, um, right at our eight weeks, and we took um, a break right at that point, and I um, updated you all on how we were doing and where we were going, and that we were making some changes to our curriculum, and we did, and they've been very successful. But right after we did that, we had a trip planned to Boston um, um, and the New England area. The last week of September and the first week of October, we were gone for 10 days um, and we were visiting family back there and it was an amazing trip and we had a lot of fun, um, but it was non-stop. We um, spent every waking moment with family and uh, it was really great, but it was also really exhausting and so we came home from our trip um, tired and then my husband went and traveled to meet our new nephew um, with our daughter and so... Um, we were, there was lots of travel and lots of things, and then we, um, that took us up to our Thanksgiving, and our Thanksgiving break, we took from, took six weeks, six weeks from the week of Thanksgiving all the way until the 1st, January 1st off. Um, we will likely be doing that different next year. Um, December is the busiest month, from Thanksgiving to Christmas is the busiest month for my husband, um, uh, of the whole year pretty much. Uh, my husband works at our big church that we attend here, and um, so he goes into, he's in charge of getting the whole place decorated and um, set up, and he's in charge of making sure all the logistics happen for that, as well as all the events that go on. He has to work, and because it's a large church, we have tons of events, and um, it was a rough December for me because I felt very um, alone just because he was working so much and because we weren't doing school I was kind of bored and the kids were kind of out of whack and it was just not successful for us so I think next year we will take from Christmas week off and then do six weeks until the end of um, January I think we might do that next year to take a full six weeks because we do year-round and I like that but we do need to get our break in, and I think the break was beneficial as far as like getting the kids ready and giving them some rest. But um, just the, when we did it, it was not good for our life and our schedule. So 
that's just kind of something thoughts that I have been pondering um, as I've kind of contemplated and thought about what was going on um, in this last year. So, um, anyways, in last last few months. So that's uh, that part. Um, back to our Boston trip. Two things that I wanted to um, mention is if you ever have the opportunity or if you are closer in the area um, to Plymouth and Plymouth Plantation, I highly recommend taking that trip and spending the money to go to Plymouth Plantation and experience that with your kids. We read um, Thanksgiving on Thursday by the Marie Osmond Hope, which is a Magic Tree House book. And we read that before we went, along with its um, parent book, or it's a fact finder book that she has. Um, and they, uh, we read that before we went on our trip, and it prepared our kids for what they were seeing and who they were seeing the reenactments of. And it was a wonderful um, precursor to our, to our um, field trip that we took um, in Boston. And the kids, that was their favorite thing that we did on the trip. And they learned so much and it was so beneficial. And I just highly recommend it. Anytime you can make history come alive in that way for kids is just awesome. And because we live on the West Coast, we don't have a ton of reenactment things in our area. So it was, it was an awesome opportunity and we're glad we took it. Um, so I would highly recommend that. And then um, just the Boston area in general has a lot of... Um, great things to see and um, just great soaked in history. So I would highly recommend um, taking a trip to Boston if you ever get the opportunity to do so. Um, let's see here. During our time, these are things that have changed um, since we got back from our Boston trip. <coughs> um, we finished All About Reading Level 1 right before we went on our trip. If you watched our curriculum video, you will see that we were not planning on using that. We were planning on using IEW PAL program, and that just didn't work for us. If you um, watch my update, you'll see that. And so we switched back to I, um, All About Reading Level 1. We had to go back a little bit and um, relearn some things, um, but we didn't start from the beginning. We just did a lot of review and a lot of practice. And... Um, before we left on our trip, I ordered All About Reading Level 2, and so we moved into that. Then when we got back, um, my one-and-a-half-year-old decided that he was going to sometimes skip his morning nap, which threw us totally through for a loop because that's when we were doing school was while he was sleeping, and it just um, kind of fell apart. So we um, had to adjust and because of, in that adjustment we uh, ended up just doing math and reading um, and spelling math reading spelling and a little bit of vocabulary and um, we dropped science because um, sunlight science is just what not working for us uh, it's a little bit too all over the place and just a little bit too cursory for um, my son and our liking and I just, I don't know, it's very fragmented for me. I'm, um, I have discovered this year that I am a unit study mom, which means that I like to do things <clears throat> um, in unit studies. I like to study one topic and dig in and learn everything that we can about that as much as we can with their age group, and then we stop doing that and we move to the next thing. Um, I'm learning how to do that because I've never, well, I did it a little bit when I was teaching, but I've never really experienced it. And I didn't do a lot of those quizzes before I started homeschooling that a lot of people do <clears throat> about whether or not we, um, what style my style was or whatever. Um, so anyways, I, um, I'm a unit study mom and I like to teach that way and my kids like to learn that way. And so we are adjusting to that. So I am dropping sunlight science and, um, we are going to be moving into my father's world kindergarten for my daughter, which I have right here. Um, <clears throat> so I um, purchased this used. So this is the old edition. This is the um, six-day version without the Christmas and um, Fruit of the Spirit unit and I am fine with that and we'll make it work and I'll be creative with the student sheets that are not included 
but this will be what we do for science um, once we start. We're probably going to start this in February at some point. I just have to get all the supplies and stuff um, together. But we'll be doing this as our science, and we'll go a little deeper for my son. And if it takes us, I don't know, three weeks to do one letter as far as science goes, then that's fine. And I'll just keep adding some letters, letter activities to that for my daughter. Um, I don't foresee that taking being that way. Like dinosaurs, we may take with two weeks, but it's in a six-week format, and we school for days a week so it'll end up working out and we'll just add some stuff here and there which I plan on doing anyway so this will be kind of where we start our topics from and then my kids have uh, requested um, learning about nights one of the things that happened while uh, <laughs> between this video and the last video was my mom took a trip to Germany and came back with a ton of stories about castles and nights and all of the things and she brought them shields and <coughs> and so she um, ignited some interest in nights and so we are in the middle we just started our night unit study and um, I kind of handed it myself I have some resources online that I'm using but because my kids are so young I'm not doing a lot um, excuse me a second um, so <coughs> we are going to be so we're doing a night unit study this month and then um, starting in February we'll start the my father's world kindergarten and that will be kind of where we base stuff off of my daughter has requested that we learn about ballerinas so we'll probably do a small mini unit study on that for her and um, the Olympics are coming up so we'll probably do a little thing here and there for that so um, we'll just kind of just go with it plus all the holidays that are coming up and all that so that's what we're doing for that all right so what I um, talked about before was that all about reading we um, finished level one and my son is now in level two and it's getting challenging and coming back from our break he's struggling to get back into the swing of it and um, so I'm trying to I'm not sure if it's just because we've been off for so long or what so I'm gonna I'm we're sticking with this I love this program um, after trying a few different things I'm glad we came back to this and this is what I will be using for my other student students all my other kids um, just because I it's effective and it works and um, it can be a little tedious at times for the kids uh, especially these wordy reading pages which <clears throat> um, Everyone talks about how these can be kind of tedious. Um, so I use M&Ms and candy as a reward for finishing. Um, we also earn tickets in our house, so I'll use the tickets as a reward. Um, but anyways, we're on level two. We are, um, I don't know, three, two third, uh, one third of our way through level two, and um, we'll continue with that. We have added um, vocabulary. I'm seeing my book. Um, I don't know where it is, but we have added Wordly Wise level three. I picked a third grade level vocabulary. My son <clears throat> has always had a higher vocabulary since he was a baby. And um, so we have picked up Wordly Wise level one or level three, third grade level um, vocabulary words. And how we are doing it is I'm his scribe. We go over the words, we learn the different words, and he loves it. He thinks it's really fun, and um, it's been successful. So we do that two times a week, um, and that's been very, very good um, for us and for him. Um, we've also, um, he finished right before Thanksgiving, Christmas break, finished all about, read, or all about spelling level one, and um, we moved a little quickly through this because it was so simple for him. Um, we did it, I think, every day, most days, and I even broke the lessons into two days. So um, we did this, and he's finished, and we have level two in the mail. It's supposed to come Wednesday, and we're going to be starting on level two when it gets here. And um, in the in the spring, we're going to be um, doing this probably one to, uh, two to three times a week, and then the other two to one to two days, we'll be doing the worldly wise. <clears throat> vocabulary curriculum. Um, 
So that has been added in. We are still using Right Start Math and it has been going very well. Other than it's really simple. So we've been doing two lessons a day, most days. Today's lesson is um, was lesson 81, I believe, and it's finally getting challenging, which is good, <laughs> but it hasn't been challenging up until this point. And I like how it teaches things. However, um, sometimes it can confuse things a little bit more. So, um, but that's just because it's taught differently than I was anticipating. <clears throat> so we will probably, we're not sure what we're going to do for math after we're done with level A. Uh, my son really likes it. And um, I told him that we were, might try a different curriculum next year. And he got upset about that because he likes it. So he likes the hands-on and the games and all of that. So we'll see. We'll see what we're going to um, do and what we'll, we'll address that when we get there. Um, we should be done probably if he continues. Well, we'll see. It depends on if he gets two lessons or one lesson done a day. Um, but we should be done by, I don't know, spring break, April-ish. Um, we are also going to be adding Latin into our curriculum. Um, my kids are really interested in language and learning a new language, so... We are going to be learning Latin just to start with. My husband is learning it, and so the kids, he's been teaching the kids a little bit, and so the kids have been interested. So we're going to start with Latin. We are using Song School Latin, which is a video-based curriculum, which is why we're going with that, because I do not know Latin. Um, and it's taught in, with song and games, and I think that's going to be a good fit for my kids. Um, so we're going to be doing that as well. Um, and... That is what we have been, that's the majority of what we've been adding. Um, we did purchase the Veritas Press um, Phonics Museum app, which is a, um, like ABC Mouse, but it's $10 a month, which is a little high, and if my daughter doesn't pick up on it, then we'll cancel the subscription. But it does teach the sounds of the letters and handwriting in it, and um, just a lot of practice, and she's really picking up on things, so... Um, I like it, but it's so repetitive that I think she got a little bit bored. So we'll see. We're going to give it a, give it a valiant effort for the next month and we'll, um, evaluate in February. Um, now on to, um, my son, my youngest, he is, uh, one and a half and he has now dropped to one nap a day, which he normally takes in the afternoon around noon after lunch. And um, by that point, we're all tired, and doing school in the afternoon just isn't super successful. So we have had to figure out a way to put him into the mix of things, and um, today was our first day doing it, and it was a little bit rocky. Um, but we took recess, and I think that threw us off. So I'm not sure we're going to be taking recesses um, in, in like we are, but we'll see. Every um, Everyone's a little bit sick and so moods are a little bit different so we're just gonna keep going we're gonna keep trying and I'm not gonna give up on day one but um, what we are doing what we're doing for him are these things called baby bins and they are um, created by mrs. Hellman's kindergarten.com and um, I'll link that below and what it is she has about she has a daughter who's around my son's age and um, she started doing some school at home with her <clears throat> daughters. And so the youngest is a baby. And um, so what she does is she fills a bin. And this week we're learning red. And so we have a bin full of red things, red toys, red caps, red cups, red everything that's red. And um, they're toys that I took away um, like a month ago. So he hasn't seen them either at all before or um, they're he hasn't seen them in a while. And so we pulled those out and he was very entertained. He was actually the easiest one to deal with today. Um, very entertained by it. And then we read a book every, one book for the whole week. So we read it every day, which is great for little babies. Um, they like to repeat anyways. And um, we're going to be doing some different red activities throughout the week that are just for him. Um, and we do that the very first thing of the day is... Um, baby school and so we do that stuff 
And then he goes off and plays and plays with his baby bin and <clears throat> all the other toys that we have. Um, his Christmas presents this year were all educational toys. Um, educational toys, but toys that are... Um, <clears throat> That can last him for a while and that would entertain him during school time and um, then we start our own I have created a block schedule so um, after that after he does his school then we move to um, our math block and I do math with my daughter and then math with my son and whoever's I'm not working with is playing with the baby and um, then we were we took a recess and that kind of where we fell apart then we come back if we could take a recess, um, if not, we come into our unit study and group work. So we'll do um, any uh, any read alouds that we have during that time. And during read aloud time, I'm giving them a snack so that busy hands and mouth, quiet mouths and hands, hopefully. Um, it worked well today. So then we do read aloud time and whatever activity we have going on with our um, unit study, whether it's, um, like today we didn't do anything with it. We just read a story and then the kids looked through a book, which was really cool, um, that I will review, um, when I share about my, the unit study. And then we, um, move into our language arts, um, block. And so I do school with one and then we switch and blah, 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 blah. And whoever's not schooling with mom is playing with the baby. So that is the plan um, we'll see how that goes, and um, I'm hopeful that it will go smoothly. Um, <clears throat> but that is what um, an update on us. Um, right here I can show you is um, a rolling cart from Ikea. Both of these things were from Ikea. This rolling cart is where I keep all of our um, teacher's manuals. I can, if we have guests coming over, I can roll this out of here and put it in our school room, which we still have, and it's our storage space so we will be um, still using that room and we may move school back into there eventually I don't know we'll see everything's changing that's one thing that I've learned is that um, we just have to surrender to change and um, be ready for whatever comes your way homeschooling is a very interesting adventure one that um, one that tests your patience and peace level. <laughs> um, but in order to be successful, you just need to be moldable. And um, I'm having to learn that because that's not, that doesn't come naturally to me. But anyways, so this is my cart. It has all of our curriculum needs on it. Um, everything that we use every day um, that I need quick access to goes here. And then I can roll it away. And then inside the cart behind me is um, all the supplies that we need, binders and um, all of that. So anyways, that is an update. Thank you for watching. This is a longer video than, well, my little videos tend to be long. So I thank you for watching and, um, I'd love to hear how your school year is going and, um, I hope that you are doing well. I should be back soon with an update on what we've been reading over the last, I don't know, four months. <laughs> um, I have read a lot personally. I have, um, found a new author that I love. So anyways, preview to what is to come. I will um, be doing those soon and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.